never you know you never have enough i mean it's I, you know, what, what can I say? It's uh, in, in some, you know, the, the Bitcoin phenomenon, ultimately, you know, I like to think about Buckminster Fuller, you know, Buckminster Fuller was a visionary thinker and he made a decision early on in his life that he wouldn't do anything in life that wasn't beneficial for humanity. And he created the geodesic dome. He created the first electric car or one of the first electric cars. And he thought strategically about humanity. And Bitcoin is something that's pro-humanity. Is Paul Tudor Jones even said that gold is a bet on disaster. Bitcoin is a bet on humanity, that it's gonna get better. So, I mean, this is part of this is being involved in something that's gonna Im improve humanity, improve, um, what our experience as humans, you know, on this earth, because Bitcoin demonetizes violence, whereas fit, fiat money really monetizes violence. You know, the, the petrodollar and the whole war industry, and it's all based on fiat money and money printing and that Ponzi scheme of money printing. It's a very violent area. Fiat money is, is, is the source of violence. Bitcoin is demonetization of violence. So in that context, you're like, well, you know, I'm doing something, I'm part of a bigger thing. And, and with Bitcoin, everyone who gets involved to it in a, in, with a big, in a big way really learns to get humble and say, you know what, this is bigger than me. And there's something potentially that could be great for humanity here. People who are narcissistic egomaniacs have a big difficulty getting into Bitcoin. I think that's the, the Nassim Taleb story. He's, he's, rightfully proud of the work he's done with his books etc but he developed this narcissism that prevented him it prevents him from seeing the the humanity of bitcoin and so he's essentially committed professional suicide uh with his antics uh, of the past few months and we see that with nuriel rubini or paul krugman they've committed professional suicide because they're they don't have the humility to approach bitcoin on that on that level so to answer your question um sure i gave away thousands of coins but if it's part of the journey that if it ends up being uh, pr beneficial to humanity as a whole then i think that that's something we can all be proud of